we're going to solve 1.6.12 and this func function is graphed here we want to write the interval of increase and decrease and there may be more than one interval so let's first of all think about increasing is up to the right and on this function it should be pretty clear it's going up to the right right there so I'm going to highlight this in blue from the bottom of the valley all the way up. I'm going to put a point down there. And let's see, at the top here, there is no end. It just goes right off the graph. It looks just like that does at the bottom. So it keeps going. So the way we're going to write the increasing interval, these are always x values. We use x values because they don't uh, repeat. If we use the y values that we see here, the y values, some of the y values are repeated over here. So we have to use x values. So it starts at two at the bottom and it goes all the way to the right. So it starts at two and goes all the way to the right. So when we write those in x values, that will be positive two comma, keeps going. So it's infinity. And on these, you leave them open for increasing and decreasing, leave it open because at the very bottom here, you're neither increasing or decreasing, depending on what direction you look. One direction you look, it's increasing. The other one we'll get to in a minute is decreasing. All right, is that the only place the graph's going up to the right? It's not going up to the right in the middle here. It's going down to the right, but this is going up to the right over here. So let's start highlighting this and we can go until we hit the very top. Put another point there. Now there was no bottom here, so it keeps going. And we're describing these x values. So these x values, the biggest one happens right here. The x value is negative one. So that would be the biggest x value. Now what's the smallest x value? Well, there is no smallest x value. It keeps going down to the left. So there's no smallest x value. Negative infinity will be it. And we put a union in between. Now, normally I'd write the order in reverse. I'd write it as negative infinity, negative one, union, two to positive infinity. Write them in order, the small one on the left, big one on the right, but it's not wrong if you write them in the other order. So I'll uncover that. Now, for decreasing, decreasing is the opposite of up to the right, which is not down to the left. The opposite up to the right for, for us here is down to the right. You're always going to the right. So this will be down to the right. Just remember, you always are going to the right. Be careful with these arrows. They will make you look down to the left sometimes. So just always think to the right. All right, decreasing down to the right. It's happening in one place, and that's right in the middle here. We're going to describe these using x values. So the smallest x value is negative 1. The biggest one is positive 2. It's the x values of those points right there. So we're going negative 1 to 2. And again, we do not include the endpoints because at the endpoints, you're at a hilltop and you're both, depending on what way you look, you're increasing or decreasing. Uh, so at this point, you're neither increasing nor decreasing. And same thing, we exclude both of those points right there. And one cover, there we go.